Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I would try that new R mode that just came out in the uh, Team Red Miner beta version. Um, so I'm currently running B mode, and I'm doing about uh, 223 watts. I don't know if that's accurate or not, because that doesn't seem right. I know it fluctuates anywhere from about 500 to 200, so I think it really depends on what's going on with the hashing. Um, yeah, they're, they're mining because they feel warm, so that's weird. Um, yeah, this, this is my little 3D printed uh, crypto mining rig here. Um, so yeah, I have a couple of uh, 5700 XTs, I have two Sapphires, and I also have a Red Devils, two Red Devils. I've actually had these for a couple of years. Um, yeah, I bought them when they were cheap, uh, like $400 each before they got scalped. But, um, but yeah, prices are coming down again, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, the R mode is, uh, seems like it's, um, you can lower the core clock down. So right now I'm around about 1250 core clock in Hive OS. And if I can actually bring the power consumption even further down, uh, that'd be good because my power rates in California are going up and it's brutal here. So, um, I'm going to see if I can get this thing in R mode. I know you have to do some kernel parameters, so I'll have to figure that out. And, uh, like I said, this is in beta right now, so, um, but yeah, if I can lower my power consumption, that'd be, uh, that'd be good. So, alright. Alright, so I went to their webpage and I'm actually running Hive OS and I'll bring this down right now. And I'm actually running NiceHash with, uh, Hive OS. You can see what I'm doing here. So this is the flight sheet I just created by their directions. Um, I'm actually going to nice hash pool. And this is it here, TRM beta. You have to copy and paste this URL here, ETH hash. Um, and this is right here, the kernel parameters. So let's, uh, I don't even know what's going to happen here. So I'm going to change my flight sheet on that miner. I mean, I don't know if that's going to crash my miner. I have no idea. So I'm currently mining thing in B mode. Yeah, it's kind of running slow. Okay, it's 4GP minor. And, wow, this is really running slow today. Okay, um, okay, so I'm doing a 53 mega hash. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty low already, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's right or not right, but let's see. So I'm going to go to the flight sheet. Okay, and we're going to actually apply the, I'm just going to send this one to it. And then I'm going to, it's currently mining, so it stopped. I don't know, I, I think this thing might reboot the kernel, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so this is the new beta version. Okay. Like I said, I've never done this before, so that's why it rebooted. So maybe I think I think they said that it would reboot the computer. So either this thing just crashed right now, but I know it's supposed to. It's somewhere in the documentation that says it's supposed to reboot it. So where is it at here? Like once it, it enables the kernel, it's going to reboot the kernel. Um, because it runs some, some sort of upgrade script, and hopefully it's not going to mess with the kernel too much. But in the grub file, like when Linux boots up, it, it loads a grub file, and that's what tells the, the parameters of the, the operating system. Uh, Alright, let me move this thing to reboot up again here. Okay, so it rebooted and trying to do this DAG. Um, yeah, because this doesn't work in, uh, what's it called, uh, nice hash. I mean, nice hash is not like mining to like uh, the Hivian pool. Received a new job, I haven't got any shares yet. So, um, R mode, here we go. Uh, I'm in R mode though. Ah, I got a share. Okay. Um, so I guess the benefit for this is I can actually lower the core clock. So once this is actually stable for a few minutes, I'm going to come back and I'm going to start lowering the core clock to see if we can get it down, the power consumption. But it's already pretty low already, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so we are in R mode and we're in the beta, beta pool. So rejected error. Okay, that's not good. Well, one thing I noticed is that the mega hash rate went up a little bit. So they were pretty much averaging around 53 mega hash. Now they're up to 55. Um, so I'm still looking good on the uh, hashing, you know. Still in R mode. Right here you can tell by here, the ETH config. Right there, R. Um, okay, we're still going. Okay, uh, I'll check my power consumption too. 
So then what I'm going to do is start lowering this core clock down to like 1,050. So I'm going to go in stages, and I'll see if this actually... When you lower the core clock, it should lower the power consumption. Um, but the, if you can keep the same hash rate, I mean, that'd be great. So I'm already pretty low on the, 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 the voltage. So um, I had to kind of modify. If you can see these aren't the same, I had to kind of try to tweak these. And, because if you go too low, it crashes the, crashes the, the GPU. So. All right, so I'm going to try one of these GPUs, and I'm just going to lower this down by 100 to see what actually... Well, I should probably do one of my most stable GPU. Um, which one is this? The Sapphire. Yeah, GPU 2 was having issues. Um, so let me try... Yeah, I'll try the Sapphire. The Sapphires are actually the best 5700 XTs out there. Uh, run the coolest, you know, this coolest and best hash rate and lowest power consumption. Um, okay, so it went through. Let's double check and see... Uh, See where we're doing that. Let's uh, let's go all in. <laughs> let's go back to the. Uh, we'll go down to 10:50. They said anywhere from like a thousand to 10:50. So let's try that 10:50. See if that crashes it. Okay. So once you make the change, you have to kind of wait for a minute or two. I um, mean, if it didn't, I crash it right right away. That's usually a good sign. Um. But I'm sure, I'm assuming the hash rate would probably go down because normally in a normal situation in B mode, if you lower the, the core, well, when you lower the core clock down, you have to lower the voltage down too, or I'm just, not, not the opposite of that. But okay, so we're at 1050. Um, all right, so I'm gonna modify the rest of these down to 1050 and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, that's what crypto mining is all about, just experimenting. Yeah, you don't even have, I mean, I've crashed my rig thousands of times trying different settings uh, over the years. I mean, I'm looking at my power meter, the one I showed you earlier, my cell phone, my uh, my uh, wireless uh, power meter. So it's still about the same. So it hasn't really gone down in power consumption, uh, even though my core clocks are down here. Yeah, so typically, I mean, when I lower the core clock is when I can also lower the, the core voltage. So maybe I'm going to try lowering the core voltage next here, but I'm going to give this a couple minutes to let it settle in here. All right, let's start uh, lowering the core voltage here. So it's been stable for a few minutes. Let's try 685. Yeah, make sure you take a capture of your settings, though. Like a screen capture of your your overclocks. Yeah, like I said, this is kind of like well, what I was at now. The 693 in this car was what the lowest I could go before, before this thing would become unstable. Like I said, with the lower core core clock, I should be able to bring the voltage down. Like there's a trade-off between power efficiency and hash rate. Like for me, because I live in Southern California, the the, the power consumption is the big issue. Like my power costs here are crazy. Like I had to stop CPU mining because of it. Um, all right, so 685. Yeah, I'm just looking at this. I'm also looking at my power meter, which you can't see. Um, all right, so one thing I've actually observed is that it always seems like it's about 5 volts under what I set it in, in uh, Hive OS. So if it's 680, this usually will be 675 or like right below it. I didn't change this one here yet, but I just know it's, it's usually a little bit lower. Once it's actually mining. All right, so I'm gonna keep on messing with this. I'm not gonna show you every single change because it could take me hours to figure this out. Uh, so once I get to with the best settings that are stable, then I'll come back and show what I got. But um, one of the issues too is that if you go too low uh, on the core voltage, yeah, it's actually it, it can it's running right, but these GPUs they need more power during startup. So sometimes it it, it the yeah, it will run once the, the you can lower it down once it's actually running. It's almost like a motor, right? Like a three-phase motor or whatever, and you're converted to a single phase. Once the motor started, or like an AC motor, once the motor started, it doesn't need like that jolt of. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of going to ramp, but yeah, it's an AC capacitor, right? It needs the extra start of voltage to actually start the motor. But same concept with the GPU, right? It needs more start of voltage to start the GPU. So once you have it running, you can kind of run at a lower voltage. But yeah, that's the issue too. So if I go too low, I won't be able to start the miner. So, all right.
Alright, so I got my first GPU crash here. GPU 1. And that's actually usually the one where at the, it won't go as low. Um, like originally when I started out, I think it was like 705, and the rest were like 695 or 693. So this thing died at 630. 630 millivolts. Alright, so uh, typically it will, it's going to reboot the server and we'll start mining again here. Uh, okay, so I've been gone for a while here. And so it seems pretty stable at 1050 and 640. So let's go ahead and try. Um, you can see how many times I've tweaked it here, <laughs> crashes and stuff. Um, except, let's refresh that. Okay, 54. So, I mean, typically, to if I want to lower this down any more, the core voltage, I'm stuck at 640. Uh, let's try lowering the core down to 1025. Let's see what happens. So I think if I need to go, if I want to go below 640, then I got to bring down the core. But the problem is if I bring down the core too much, it's gonna I'm gonna start losing hash rate. But this is like unprecedented because I've never seen it like this before. So I'm just you know, experimenting here. Um, so I'm gonna look for any significant change in hash rate. Let's go back here and look for crashes. So typically when you when you go down, it's not going to usually crack. It's the voltage will usually crash it, not so much like a uh, core clock. Core clock will just bring down the hash rate. Um, but then you also have memory too. Memory. I'm not really overclocking the memory too much. Um, just because I don't want to overheat my uh, GPUs. Alright, so I think I, uh, I'm going for hours and uh, so I think my best settings were you know, for not crashing are about 630 on the voltage and the core is about 1000. And obviously you can tell just by looking at these numbers, they're, they're way lower. But in my meter, it shows I'm saving about 20 to 25 watts. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, that's, I mean, obviously it's, it's free money. Um, so that's great. But yeah, because in California, in Southern California, it's, I mean, that 20 watts is like 20 hours a month or more, you know, depending on what tier you're in. Like we have a multi-tiered system here. So the more power you use, the more expensive it gets. So I, I'm in like, I'm teeter tottering tier three, tier two, and it's, you know, depending if I'm 3D printing or not, you know, it puts me in tier three and gets super expensive. So, um, all right. I hope this video helps somebody. Uh, awesome. I love when they come out with new stuff. All right, guys. Cool.